From the campus studios of Saarland University, this is Ropecast, the light-hearted podcast for learners of English, with Roger Charlton and Peter Tischer. Hello, welcome to another episode of Ropecast. Hi, Roger. Hello, Peter. Roger, I would like some help on something. Yes? I have a good friend who's going to go to Great Britain. I don't know exactly where. And he knows I'm an English teacher, so he asked me about a few things that he maybe should do or not do when talking to the people over there, sort of, you know, some politeness pointers. Oh, yeah. you're not. And uh, I've been to Great Britain <laughs> once in my lifetime. Yeah. I'm, well, so I don't know all that much. I could tell him, tell you what not to do in the U.S., for yeah. example, not talk about sex. Well, you're not looking for tourist tips. You're looking more no, for... No, no. Um, the thing is, I don't know, when do you shake hands? Do you kiss people when you <laughs> greet them? <laughs> that sort of thing. So okay. could you... He's a, it's the first time. He speaks English pretty well, but it's more behavioral, what yeah. he's asking. Well, shaking hands. I mean, business people, when they're first introduced, would generally speaking shake hands. But things have become less formal, like in the United States. And okay. uh, kissing is an interesting one, because among younger people, I think kissing is on the increase now. It's kissing on the cheek, okay. which was often thought to be very un-British. Uh -huh. It's definitely on the increase. Ah, is it? But people have to know each other for yeah, some time. I, I would not recommend somebody from outside going in there and starting kissing people. I think that's a recipe for disaster. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was talking about kissing on the cheek, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Any other things that uh, yeah. you should... How much time do you have? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe small talk. Is there things to avoid? Uh, we're supposed to be so good at small talk, but we aren't. In Britain, we are not very good at that. Are you? And if you want to get into conversation with a stranger, mm -hmm. then I would say on the whole, hang back. It's okay mm -hmm. if, let's say, your train is late, your bus is late, you're standing around, there's somebody mm -hmm. else waiting, mm -hmm. and if the time goes on and on, you, you feel kind of, I ought to say something to this stranger, mm -hmm. it's okay to mention things like, um, okay. it's about time the train came, you can mention the weather. The typical like, American opener would be, hi, where are you from? Is that done in Great Britain? Probably not, no, not if you're total strangers like that. Um, I mean, if you were, say, on a train, uh -huh. sitting face to face for several hours, then you might get into that kind of conversation. But and are there no goes as far as uh, s topics go? Like I said, in the U.S., better not talk about sex. Better not talk about religion. Better not talk about politics. This is, of course, not a hard fast rule for 100 percent of all cases. But you know, if you want to play it safe, that's what you do. What about Great Britain? I think the same things apply pretty well. Mm -hmm. You don't go up to someone and say, are you gay? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you, don't, uh, you don't ask about religion straight off. These oh. are things where you would only, when you get to know someone a little bit, then you can broach a topic like religion. Uh -huh. yeah. And some other advice, maybe some real pitfalls, some things that are really dangerous. The, the thing that strikes me when I've taken groups of people to Britain very, very often, and I usually try to prepare them well, but I've heard from school groups who are less well prepared. The main thing is you must remember to use the right kind of politeness, and that means saying things, not just the way you behave. The word please mm -hmm. and thank you are very important. Uh huh. And okay. also apologizing even when you haven't really done anything wrong. Okay the, okay. the famous case being somebody treads on your toe, you say sorry. Right, right. Probably right. the other guy says sorry as well. And there's a lot of excuse me's while you're not supposed to excuse yourself all the time. Exactly. If you approach a stranger in the street because you need directions, you need mm -hmm. to find your way, then the standard way of approaching is to say excuse me. Okay. And then you launch into your question. We have other ways of doing that in German, probably because we have a conjunctive. Dürfte ich Sie nach dem Weg fragen? Subjunctives or um, I think modal verbs too. Modal verbs, yes, yeah. we use that a lot. Yeah. Or, or little adverbs that we put. Dürfte ich Sie mal etwas fragen? Oh yes, those uh, little... And you don't have these little fill-in words that we particles, have. Little particles, yes. Little particles that yeah. actually mean nothing. So you have to say, excuse me. Maybe this is why we all think that British are so polite. <laughs> <laughs> we also, in Britain, we don't like people staring at us. So I would be very careful with eye contact. Uh -huh. I notice in Germany, as two people pass each other in the street, yeah. very often they make eye contact. Okay. People in Britain don't tend to do that so much. 
All right. Okay. Well, that's, of course, a difficult habit to lose yeah. if you walk the street yeah. and you're used to looking at people. Sometimes that's even impolite with us. Yeah. Well, politeness is very much part of an individual's culture, a, a group's culture. It's not something you can necessarily right. transfer from one situation to another. Oh, uh, one thing. I have to ask you something very politely, which is we have to find a close for this podcast <laughs> uh, because our time's up, actually. Well, let's close like this. If you are, let's say you're in a bed and breakfast house, you're a, a kind of guest mm -hmm. with a family that you don't know very well. Mm -hmm. Don't just leave the room without mm -hmm. saying a word. Say something. Okay. And I will say something to the listeners now. I hope that you enjoyed this podcast and we would love it if you could listen to the next one. Goodbye. Goodbye. You've been listening to Ropecast, brought to you by Saarland University, featuring Roger Charlton and Peter Tischer. Tune in for the next edifying episode on your podcast dial. <laughs>